A computer biology laboratory at Rutgers is a major nerve center for a worldwide effort to take stock of ocean life. The International Census of Marine Life combines exploration and discovery with database development and analysis. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Years ago, a meeting of deep sea ecologists here spawned the idea of creating a database that would bring together what scientists all over the world had learned about marine species. The biggest issue about managing the oceans is it's out of sight, out of mind. People don't really know what's there. There are estimates of uh, numbers of species in the ocean that go up to 10 million from 100,000 to 10 million. Today, that database exists with millions of records and counting. The Ocean Biogeographic Information System, or OBIS, takes data off the shelves of hundreds of separate and formerly isolated research projects to make it accessible through a single website and a set of online tools. And then we can do analysis on a scale that is completely different as well. And that's a scale that we need for the, uh, to also questions in terms of uh, the global problems that we're facing with the these days. What you see here is a tip of the iceberg. What OBIS really is, is a global network of researchers bringing all the data uh, together. OBIS itself is part of the larger Census of Marine Life, which Rutgers ecologist Fred Grassley helped to launch and steer. The uh, census is made up of a lot of field programs. The field programs range from the uh, Antarctic and the Arctic uh, to the coral reefs to the deep sea. There are a lot of surprises and lot, you know, lots of new species. Um, in the deep sea, almost anywhere you go, half of the species are new. OBIS also fits into a nest of related projects, including the Encyclopedia of Life and the DNA-based Barcode of Life. The World Register of Marine Species, initiated by OBIS director Edward Vandenberg, is halfway to a goal of validating the names of an estimated 240,000 known marine species. A big part of that job is eliminating aliases. One example that uh, we uh, like to give is the breadcrumb sponge that has uh, in our database now has uh, 57 different names, only one valid. It can look completely different uh, according to the circumstances under which it is uh, growing. So the number of names is actually shrinking as the census of species grows. Patrick Regan, NJM News, New Brunswick.